Um, when it comes to tactical painting, a really good tool, um, not just dry brushing, but also shades are actually really, really good um, to help sort of get things looking lively without all that effort. So coming along with our Agrex um, Earth Shade, um, which is a nice shade, I do like this one. What we're gonna do is, I'm coming in with a number one Winsor & Newton brush here, and I'm just going to target our gold areas like so. Right, it doesn't matter massively if say um, you kind of maybe slightly sort of just go on to the blue like so. In fact, it kind of helps if you just have that little bit of a, an, an edge going into say our pauldron here it just gives it that little bit of a a nicer sort of look right which also kind of helps with a few things first off you don't have to be so neat which you know makes things faster but also it also means that if you've got any little mistakes right it will sort of you know sort of in some ways kind of light mistakes kind of cover them up right so it does help in a lot of ways like so. So I'm just doing these couple of items here, a little parchment, our gold bits, and that should be our Agrex Earthshade. Next colour we're going to come in with is Newland Oil. This is also a shade by Citadel. Always make sure you shake your um, shades because they do sediment a bit at the bottom and if you don't shake them basically you'll have a weaker intensity of our uh, Newland oil. So let's just open this up and for this what I want to do um, as you can see our gold now has taken on a sort of more livelier um, form here you know all the um, creases and everything are sort of looking like um, a bit dirty or shadowy um, and it, it, it's starting to sort of take shape but what I want to do is again um, because we're doing this tactically what you'd probably normally do is just in these areas just here you'd probably come along and paint these black or something like that but as I mentioned before Right, um, shades are a bit more sort of forgiving uh, when painting. You don't have to be as sort of accurate, right? Now, although that there might not look like it's been painted black, it's just going to give this a little bit of that nice sort of um, edge and to sort of show, you know, the difference between the armour and sort of what he's wearing underneath his armor and we're just sort of tackling these areas also i do like to put a nice big sort of blob here on in what looks like the exhausts to his backpack um, so then that's going to look sort of a bit sooty and stuff um, and then basically just do that in all those areas we're now going to do some writing on our parchment. Um, what I've got here is a really sort of nice sort of special pen, um, so to speak. It's a, a Pigma Macron 005. And this is a micro pigment ink pen. Right now the 005 means that the nib on this is really, really small, which is just what we want to sort of write. Um, on our parchments. Now when we do this, right, we just want to sort of do basically lots of squiggly lines, almost sort of tapping a bit stuttery, right, just like so. Right, keeping it sort of random, right, and because the nib's like a nice small nib, it just looks like the writing's small, and then we end up with all this parchment type writing and don't forget any that the parchment might be sitting on top of just to give it that little bit extra and then there you go really really easy a lot easier than going off and getting say like a paintbrush and trying to paint um, those in I really do like using the pens um, for that 
Right, continuing with the eyes now, I'm going to come in with a glaze, a blood letter glaze. This nice red glaze um, should be really good to sort of bring out our our eyes just here. So I'm just now going to get a bit of this on the end of my paintbrush. Not too much because you don't want a big blob and then it just goes everywhere. But very carefully holding the model nice and steady. Right, or as best as way that makes it as steady as possible for you. And we could just paint this on there like so. And the cool thing is, is it's got a bit of capillary action, so it does sort of flow um, quite nicely, actually. And hopefully you can see, you know, it does give it that sort of glowy sort of look to its eyes. Right, you could probably notice I have glued the gun on. You could do that at this stage if you want. It was just so we could get into those hard to reach places and paint them up. Um, what we're going to do now is Declan. Now Declan is sort of a big subject in itself and there's there's lots of things that we could do to sort of make our decals really cool. Um, the whole idea is we want to make the decal look like it's been painted on. So first off let's cut um, some of our decals off the sheet here. You can use scissors or you can use a blade like I am here making sure there is a cutting mat underneath. Right, so we've cut this off the decal sheet, and then I like to get out some tweezers. Right, and just off camera, I've got my pot of water just over here, so I can just dip that in there with the tweezers, and then basically we're going to put it down on our surface here, and a, a non sort of don't put it on kitchen uh, kitchen paper towel because it'll just suck up all the moisture. Just leave it there, and you basically want to leave it. Uh, for a couple of minutes and then when it actually starts to move freely um, it's ready to go on the model which actually coming back to the model um, you'll notice that we did put that gloss coat on um, our miniature here now there was another reason for that and the reason is is when it comes to decals decals will stick to a model better if they're on a glossy surface rather than a matte surface as well as um, being on a glossy surface it will um, help eliminate the effect of say silvering whereas a matte surface could actually potentially produce silvering in, in, in a decal. Silvering is basically where um, air gets underneath the decal film and you see all this sort of silvery sort of looking um, wherever there's sort of clear parts on the decal is just basically air. So nice glossy surface like we've got here all ready for decaling. Right then, so our decal now is just nicely moving nice and freely all by itself. Now when it comes down to putting decals on, it really is a good idea to start using things like decaling solutions. Um, what I have here is micro set, and I'm also gonna be using Mr. Mark Softener. Now you can use all sorts of different Declan solutions and different Declan solutions work better with different decals. Um, so, you know, it can be a bit of a hit and miss, but I do find that Games Workshop decals do work rather well with the Mark, uh, the Mr. Mark range. Um, these are from, I think it's like China or is it Japan? I think it's Japan. Um, it can be a bit expensive, but it is it is well worth getting a good um, deckling solution for the job. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to start off with micro set. Micro set is sort of a a sort of a, a primary sort of um, solution to sort of use just to get started, right? Because what it will do is it will start to slowly set um, soften the decal up, but at the same time it will give our um, decal um, a bit more adhesiveness to it so I'm just painting this onto our pauldron first and then with my paintbrush and by the way I use the same paintbrush for deckling all the time so we don't sort of you know have any sort of cross contamination and I'm just actually using my paintbrush to pick up our decal just here you can slide it on if you so wish Right, and I've just put that on nicely. Right, just letting it go down. And then what I like to do is I do have a little hand drill with a little sewing needle just on here. And I use this to just sort of micro place this now. I'm actually now just going to sort of get this so it's looking straight and where I want it. 
and, and and what you want to do you don't really want to be digging down because you'll be scratching your paint you just literally just lightly lightly touching it it doesn't take much at all to move it all right so i'm happy with the positioning of that now what we can do now is just leave that to sort of start settling for a couple of minutes um and let the micro set just do that light bit of um, um sort of starting to sort of soften it up so it will conform around this shape um, it's not going to do as good a job as the mr mark softener but if we use mr mark softener first right it would wrinkle up a lot because this is like more powerful more potent and it can really make the decal sort of start to stick and wrinkle up and basically you might not have enough time to position it right so this just kind of gets the ball rolling but allows you to be able to position it and gives you time to position it like i've just done there and you basically want to do that with all the rest of your decals Thank you.